<clears throat> Hello guys, this is another video of my Battle Factory series. Our team looks pretty good, but um, yeah, all right, let's see, let's see how good we can do. Alright. Although mostly uh Heat and Wash Rotom run Willow us, I'm actually really afraid of him going for Willow us. And considering most of my team is physical, yeah. I'm gonna have to take a risk and go for Stone Edge. All right, um, let's see. I'm like really afraid of Nasty Plot. I don't have any toxic Pokemon. So that's really going to be a problem. So I'm going to go into Gorgeist. And Hydro Pump is going to get a critical hit. It's going to do a lot. I have a feeling he's going to switch. And I don't want him to do that much damage. So... He's, if even if he does switch, I just want to cripple one of his Pokemon item wise. So now he's locked into Ice Beam, and this is gonna be probably the riskiest thing because Avalog probably has Roar most likely. But I'm gonna go into Shell Smash. We're gonna go back into Rotom Frost. All right. To go for waterfall. Hopefully, we knock it out. There we go. Our right, Huntail is putting in some work. Now he's going to go back into the semi port. I'm going to go for Sucker Punch because he most likely is going to have an attack. That's going to knock it out as well. So far, we're doing good. Clang. I like really forgot about this Pokemon. We're gonna, it's probably via light, yeah. So, um, critical hit. Are you gonna go for shift gear? That's if it has wild charge, that's really gonna make a difference, but it's not gonna matter because we get a critical hit ourselves. Oh, that's two actually, two crits in a row. Wow, all right. This is the thing I was worried about. This is probably the reason why we're not gonna win because if he survives, this is what he will. Uh, roar. Or Avalanche, or most likely Roar. This is gonna do. It's gonna be devastating. Not gonna really go do anything. It's gonna be devastating. He flinched. All right. So now we still have a chance to do more damage. I am aware of recover, but I'm not necessarily worried about it, considering that we're not even using any super effective moves. And see, there we go. The Roar. That was gonna be our downfall. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Armado. He's going to go for a recover. I can knock off the leftovers, and then he can roar me again, which he most likely will. He's going to go. For, he's going to go for Avalanche. And this is the problem I was talking about because most of my team is physical. We're not going to be able to do anything. So Stone Edge, eh, fourteen. All right. I'm going to play it safe and go for Earthquake. And even if he switches, it would be dumb. Uh, still do good decent amounts of Inferno and Arbok. And we knock out the Monferno. Now, Arbok is a really problem because I know it can set up Coil. And that's going to be an issue. So, just in case he decides to... I can go for foul play. <coughs> Hopefully, I did something. All right, we're going to get it down to 31. So just to be safe, I'm going to roost. And then actually, well, no, it's too risky to send out Armado. But if I can get. 
if there's a way I can get um Huntail, yeah, if I can get Huntail back into the battle, that would be amazing. And this is what I was talking about. Foul play is going to knock it out. There you go. All right. I'm just hoping this is not going to knock it out. Oh, it does. Surprise. Surprise. All right. So we win this battle. Another battle factory battle gone well. Well, that's hard to say. Anyways, <laughs> thank you for watching. Make sure you aqua jet that like button. And if you like what you see, I don't know, maybe subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.